Aha! I tricked you! I made a One Piece video and nobody clicked on it. But if I make a JoJo and One Piece video together, I can trick all of you into clicking it. I'm not mad, it's just- Could Whitebeard of the Whitebeard Pirates single-handedly stop the Heaven Plan? I know this is a little wacky, a little quirky, <laughs> but bear with me here. The Heaven Plan was originally created by Dio, but passed on to his... Uh, well... Historians would call Pucci Dio's very close best friend. In JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 6, Stone Ocean, we get to see all the steps needed to complete the Heaven Plan through the main antagonist, Pucci. I might as well also mention... Ugh, the world over heaven here. I've talked enough about why I hate this vile creature, and I don't want to talk about it here. But I know if I didn't mention it, I'd get at least a couple hundred comments about it. I am talking about Jojo Cannon here. The world over heaven is not canon, meaning it does not exist, meaning I'm not even gonna consider it here, meaning I hate- Is this because of Roblox? Is Roblox Jojo making people think this creature exists? Come on, sheeple. It's from a licensed third-party video oh. game. Now, the Heaven Plan was in motion for a long time. And it makes this video messy if we have Whitebeard hunting down Dio from the second he leaves the coffin. So to simplify, for this video, we're gonna put Whitebeard in Jolene's position in part six. That's right, we're locking away Whitebeard in Green Dolphin Street Prison. And I guess since Jolene won't be there to bring in Jotaro, and that Poochie needs Jotaro's memory disc, we're just gonna... We're gonna give Poochie Jotaro's memory disc for free. Happy birthday. Whitebeard's no pushover. Whitebeard is one of, if not the single most notorious pirates in One Piece. He is one of the four emperors of the sea and father to hundreds of foster children. This guy means business. Whitebeard's got some big white balls. One of Whitebeard's crew got arrested and he said fuck it and launched an assault on the Marine HQ. Damn, bro, those balls seem heavy. Need me to carry them for you? Now imagine Whitebeard sitting in a cell at Green Dolphin Street Prison with the same determination to stop Poochie from completing the Heaven Plan as he had to save <laughs> from Marine Ford. The first step Poochie takes towards Heaven is the resurrection of Dio's will. Poochie has spent years amassing a massive collection of stands in search of one that could perform this okay. very task and he finds it in Limp Biscuit. <laughs> While both Whitebeard and Poochie are still in the prison, I want to figure out whether or not Whitebeard would be able to stop him. Unlike Jolene, who can't even break iron bars. You kidding me, Jolene? Get your head in the game! Being confined to a prison cell is no problem for Whitebeard. And this is thanks to the Gura Gura no Mi. The Gura Gura no Mi is the Paramecia devil fruit that Whitebeard consumed, and according to Sengoku, is among the strongest Paramecia fruits to exist. This fruit gives Whitebeard the ability to shake the earth itself. Earthquakes, tsunamis, tilting the ground beneath you are all powers that Whitebeard possessed. So a little rinky-dink Florida jail cell? Please! Whitebeard could easily collapse the entire prison. But the real problem isn't the prison, it's Poochie. In Poochie's quest to find the right stand for the Heaven Plan, he amassed a large collection of stands. And with the usage of memory discs, Poochie can turn anyone into a loyal soldier with a stand to boot. The following stands we know Poochie would put up against Whitebeard are Highway to Hell, Marilyn Manson, Jumpin' Jack Flash, Limp Biscuit, Survivor, Planet Waves, Yo-Yo Ma, and Jailhouse Lock. And maybe a little John Gallier on the side. I don't know, it depends how he feels that day. Highway to Hell is no issue to Whitebeard. There is nobody Poochie could give it to that could outlive Whitebeard. Even if McQueen successfully game ends himself, Whitebeard is so big any method that would kill McQueen would only injure Whitebeard. Jumping Jack Flash, Planet Waves, Limp Biscuit, and Foo Fighters, Whitebeard would... Whitebeard would skull the sh out of them and make them beg for mercy. All of them could be beaten with brute strength alone. But Marilyn Manson, Yo-Yo Ma, Jailhouse Lock, and John Galley A would prove to be a problem. Marilyn Manson is a gambling stand. Do you know 90% of people who go up against Marilyn lose right before they beat her? 
So keep up in that bet. You got this. Marilyn Manson makes a bet. Could be baseball pitches, could be how long you can edge. It's up to Manson. Whitebeard seems like he's a chill guy. If Manson offers him a fun bet, I bet he's the type of guy to take her up on it. Since Whitebeard is a big shot pirate, it would make sense that he would only be interested in betting with the big bucks. I'm talking mucho dinero. And if Whitebeard ends up losing the bet, Manson will come to reap the rewards. Since he wouldn't have all his pirate booty in a Florida prison, Manson will do the next best thing to pay off his tab. Harvest his organs for the black market. Manson is invincible. Whitebeard cannot stop it. If the bet is lost, Manson will take his organs and end his life. I don't care how strong you are, you cannot live without a heart. By the time Whitebeard realizes he's been duped and needs to beat the shit out of Manson's stand user, it's too late. Uh, Whitebeard can just win the bet. No, he can't. Manson's user is a dirty cheat, the type of person to play heads or tails with a two-sided coin. If they bet whether or not Whitebeard could edge successfully for 10 minutes, Manson will with on tickling prostate and it would be over for Whitebeard. Yo-Yo Ma is the second stand Whitebeard would have trouble with. Again, it's a stand he cannot Bruce force his way through, as Yo-Yo Ma is also immortal. Yo-Yo Ma pretends to be a submissive, soylent drinking weakling, offering to help its target to get them to drop their guard. Once the target's guard's been lowered, that's when Yo-Yo Ma strikes with acid mosquitoes. What the hell is this stand? Do you see why I hate it? Whitebeard is a man among boys, already father to hundreds of foster children, and allied with dozens of New World pirate crews. Whitebeard invented the word diplomacy. If this beta cuck stand started being subservient to Whitebeard, he would just adopt the thing as a new son. During Marineford, we see one of Whitebeard's many sons give in to the intrusive thoughts and stab Whitebeard through the chest. And you want to know what Whitebeard did? You want to know what a true man does in this situation? Whitebeard bent down and hugged his son. For he knew the emotional pain his son was going through was far worse than the pain of being impaled. God, I love Whitebeard. Yo-Yo Ma will start dissolving Whitebeard when he isn't looking and Whitebeard would turn around like, this isn't you. But unfortunately, whether or not Whitebeard dies here depends on if he has the resolve to open up the earth with his devil fruit powers and trap Yo-Yo Ma underground. Whitebeard, that's too good for this I want him to suffer. John Gallier would be sniping him from a distance and he'd be all like, Grah! Who is shooting at me? And since he's like 2,000 pounds, he'll just eat the bullets and use observation hockey to find John Gallier and bury him in an earthquake. Jailhouse Lock is the stand I think would give Whitebeard the most trouble. You can be as physically strong as you want, but it means nothing when Jailhouse Lock can turn your mind into mush. If Whitebeard can't beat Jailhouse Lock, he'll just become the weird senile old man who lives the rest of his days in the prison and can't even remember where he is. Honestly, I think I would rather just be killed at that point. Jolene was only able to overcome Jailhouse Lock because she outsmarted the system. I think when people think of Whitebeard, they never think of how smart he is because, well, look at him. <laughs> but we get a great example of how genius Whitebeard can be in, guess where? Marineford. Fleet Admiral Sengoku attempted to trick Whitebeard by intentionally leaking fake information. And this worked. Everyone was panicking. Everyone except Whitebeard. Whitebeard took the bait willingly, only to later reveal he knew he was being led to a trap all along, and that pretending to fall for Sengoku's trap was actually a part of Whitebeard's much bigger trap. If Whitebeard is able to best the strategic mastermind that is Fleet Admiral Sengoku, I think he could come up with a solution to Jailhouse Lock that I can't come up with. Therefore, despite all the odds, I think he'll be able to pull through. Now that Poochie's army has been destroyed, or at least the army we know of, can Whitebeard take down the king, Poochie? At this stage in the Heaven Plan, Poochie would still have Whitesnake, 
which is a real cluster of a stand. White Snake is an example of what I don't like in stands. A whole bunch of random abilities all thrown together in one package. He has acid that both dissolves and puts you to sleep, both stand and memory disc manipulation, and some kind of illusion shape-shifting nonsense. Like bro, pick two. In a physical match, I think Whitebeard would kill White Snake. Stands are strong, able to punch through walls and sustain hits a normal human wouldn't survive, but look how big Whitebeard is. Earlier I said he was like 2,000 pounds, but apparently he only weighs just shy of 300 kilograms. That's surprising, but like, that's still three Jotaro's worth. So he's still a big f***ing guy. Whitebeard also has access to armament hockey, which allows him to punch hard and be punched even harder. Stop! So strength-wise, I'd say this tank is on par with a stand. But white strength isn't about pure strength. He's all about that trickery and illusions and whatnot. Magic. Whitebeard doesn't have a stand for White Snake to extract. Or does he? And White Snake does not know anybody Whitebeard would fall for a mimic of. Whitebeard, White Snake, holy crap, is this section hard to record? It's White Snake's acid that's gonna be the biggest problem. If White Snake is able to coat Whitebeard in its acid, Whitebeard will fall asleep and stay asleep until the acid kills him. The only reason Jolene wasn't killed by the acid was the pelvic bone she fell asleep clutching. The sharp pain jolted her awake. And the only reason she had the bone in the first place is cause this little guy took a liking to her. Would Emporio give his bone to Whitebeard? Well, Emporio might see this Goliath of a man and go, Oh sh maybe this guy is the big cheese that can finally put a stop to Cuck Snake and then he'll give him the bone. Whether or not Whitebeard dies to White Snake depends on whether or not Emporio gives him the bone. I'm an optimist, so I'm gonna say yes. If Whitebeard was in Jolene's position and was attempting to stop Poochie, I think Emporio would seek out Whitebeard and help him by giving him the bone. Whitebeard beats White Snake, he beats all his crappy little minions and comes out with a new son, Emporio. Without Jolene, Whitebeard never becomes companions with Hermes, Foo Fighters, or Anasui, but Emporio and Weather would still join up with Newgate. That's his name, by the way. This is where I think Poochie is stopped. Whitebeard would stop the Heaven Plan before it even leaves Green Dolphin Street Prison. But that's no fun now, is it? Poochie hasn't even gone through his magical girl transformation. Could Whitebeard stop the Heaven Plan after Poochie fuses with the green baby and leaves Golfin Street behind. Let's say Poochie loses to Whitebeard, but manages to barely scrape by and escapes after fusing with this thing. Got it. Let's also say that Whitebeard knows the Heaven Plan, and so he'll know to pursue Poochie at the Kennedy Space Center. Getting there is gonna be weird. This guy has never seen a car in his life. How could he even fit in one? Whitebeard doesn't know what Florida, Orlando, the USA, the tragedy of 9-11, or the Kennedy Space Center even are. If this man comes to you on the street and asks for directions to the Kennedy Space Center, what are you gonna tell him? I'm confident he'll eventually find a way to weasel a ride to the Space Center, but in that time, Poochie would have already regrouped with the final three bastions of his defense, Dio's children. If I were to travel back to caveman days and show Grug some pop rocks, his brain would explode. This is how I'd imagine Whitebeard would react to Bohemian Rhapsody. I don't think Whitebeard could stop Bohemian Rhapsody. Like, what the hell do you expect this guy to do? Luckily, I don't think he needs to stop it. Whitebeard's goal is stopping the Heaven Plan, but since Ungolo has zero control over any of the chaos that is Bohemian Rhapsody, Whitebeard can simply bye ignore bye. it all. Now Dio's second child, Raquel, Whitebeard kills him. Just run him down and beat the- beat the- beat him to death! Dio's third child, Donatello, would give Whitebeard a run for his money. You think Whitebeard knows what an airplane is? His mind would explode if he encountered Underworld. Whitebeard would not know how to stop an airplane from crashing. So whether Whitebeard wins or loses here depends on if he can survive a plane crash. Actually, I don't even know if this guy would fit in a plane. 
I don't know, we're so close to the final fight. Let's just say Whitebeard survives a plane crash due to him being absolutely massive and armament hockey. Looks right to the camera and goes, um, well that just happened. And then just leaves to head to the Kennedy Space Center. Now that Whitebeard has successfully overcome Poochie's final three barriers of defense, Whitebeard arrives at the Kennedy Space Center to face Poochie and go toe to toe with Sea Moon. Sea Moon has two abilities. First, take the battlefield and flip it 90 degrees. Second, anything and anyone Sea Moon touches gets turned inside out. First things first, the battlefield. Whitebeard would encounter Sea Moon the same place Jolene does, the Kennedy Space Center. And just like Jolene, Whitebeard would probably have to climb there. Jolene and Anna Sui had easy climbing, but Whitebeard's gonna have a harder time. Sure, he's strong, but he's also really big, meaning his body is gonna weigh him down more. But you know what? If Fisher Tiger was able to scale the entire red line with his bare hands, I'm not too worried about Whitebeard. Now, Whitebeard has his final fight, fighting Sea Moon. One single touch and his body will turn inside out and instantly die. Or does it? I believe Whitebeard's Arnament Hockey would protect him from being turned inside out. Arnament Hockey is described as an invisible armor over top a person's body. If Seamoon touches Whitebeard, he wouldn't be touching him. He'd be touching his Arnament Hockey. And you can't turn hockey inside out. And without Sea Moon's inside out BS, I don't think he stands a chance with Whitebeard. Whitebeard could grab him by the head and crush his skull like a watermelon. Whitebeard kills Poochie along with Sea Moon at the Kennedy Space Center before he is able to complete the Heaven Plan and awaken Maiden Heaven. I believe definitively Whitebeard, AKA Edward Newgate of the Whitebeard Pirates from One Piece could single-handedly stop the Heaven Plan all from the same starting point as Jolene. Okay, go watch my One Piece video. It's very funny. Bye!